Okay, so hey guys, it's Quinston, and today we're going to continue with our previous Radix Sword tutorial. And um, what we're going to do in here is just, okay, I just said it, continue. So let's just start into it. Um, so, next thing we're going to do is uh, we found the maximum number, which is in our elemental array. So, next we're going to find the length of the number of digits. That's the number of digits which it contains, the maximum number it contains, because that is the number of passes which we're going to have, which is going to control our while loop, the big while loop. Um, so let's just start. So for oh, instead of that, let's just start with the int length equal to zero because um, you know length is important. So while max num is not equal to zero, what do you do? Length plus plus, and also max num is equal to max num by ten. Now why did I do this? Why did I do this? Okay, why did I say max num equals to divided by 10? So basically, we are considering that max num as an integer, and when you divide this by, suppose this is 66, suppose I divide 66 by 10, you get 6.6, .6, but the fact that it is an integer, it gets floored to 6. So 66 divided by 10 is 6 in, in integer, in the integer world. Anyway, so e this will get six, and uh, then uh, again you go while well, um, max num is not equal to zero. So max num is now six. So six is not equal to zero, obviously. So then you get length plus plus. So now length will be two. Okay. So then max num equal to six. So six by ten will be zero point six. But zero point six in the integer world is zero. So um, this will be zero. So then we'll check. Oh wait, max num is equal to zero. So get out of the loop. So length will be equal to length. Two. So, so the system dot. Ah, let's just copy and paste. You know, copy paste. Hmm. Nobody really cares. So, the length of the largest number is. Do you know why I put so much time into these tutorials? Because it's a video, <laughs> and videos can be as long as possible if you are entertaining to the crowd. And I think I am not entertaining enough. Maybe I should be more entertaining, but you know, I can't do that because this is a code tutorial. GTH. So, this is going to be our length. Okay, so let's just um, save it, execute, and uh, yeah, the largest number, the length of the largest number is 2. This is 99 because these are basically random numbers. Anyway, so one of our two things. So, I just want to say one thing radix sort is composed of multiple functions. Now, you can put this in the function and you know, whatever, do stuff with it. You can put this in the function and do stuff with it, but I just wanted to, you know, put everything together so that I could explain one by one instead of, you know, diverting from the whole point. That is, you know, the point is teaching you radix sort and not dealing with functions. So, yeah, that's fun. Okay, so I want to just go over the next amount of steps which we're going to do. Obviously, we're going to have while uh, length. Sorry, <laughs> that was really bad. <coughs> Sorry, length is not equal to zero. And at the last, we're going to have L E N G T S length minus minus. But that's obvious. So, um, what we're going to do over here is first, we're going to find the last, second last, S E C O N D, second last, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. After every loop basically in the first loop we get the last number second loop we get the second last number and put it in an index and so on and so forth until we finish uh, the whole you know whatever this whole <coughs> thing okay so in the just remember that in the first loop only the last number and put it according to the last number index in the second loop the second last and just keep one thing in mind you have no right to change the values of the numbers you need to sort. Why? Because the company which you are working for will totally fire you if you change the values in the sorted numbers. So never do that. Okay. And also it is basically going to give you very horrendous results. So that's what we need to do one. Next second thing is then fill the bucket basically. Fill the bucket with the values with the values you got. Okay? Then put the values back into the sorted array. Put values back 
okay I'm trying very hard to explain this one uh, put it like this so you know put the values back and then repeat the process and also you know yeah that's all okay so let's uh, just start with the first part so what do you need for this we need int a placement counter uh, placement index which is equal to zero and we need the int placement counter which is equal to one and we also need a int array holder so array holder is going to hold the a value of our element in the array so we need a for loop for int i equal to zero i less than if you don't understand stay with me you will max um, i plus plus okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go through every element uh, and put the value in array holder then uh, the, the last element of the array holder is going to be compared with this and then check it out array holder will be equal to the sort that is the two sort int two sort array two sort array of i so, and after that what we're going to do is uh, make a for loop for int uh, suppose j is equal to um, the the counter the placement counter okay this then uh, j is less not equal to zero and uh, j minus minus because uh, see one thing and in this we're going to do placement index equal to array value percent 10 what does percent 10 do it gives us the last okay okay so array value is array holder sorry and uh, array holder uh, will be equal to array holder time by, by 10 okay so what did we do over here okay so what do we do over here now just remember we need the last then second last and so on and so forth values in order to get the correct buckets so in the first loop placement counter is going to be one but after that after this loop is done placement counter will be e greater than uh, will be incremented and uh, and that's why I'm not using placement counter as our you know as a loop counter obviously because you know I need I need to have it the, I need I need the value for the next loop so in the second loop placement counter will be equal to two in the third loop placement counter will be equal to three so that's how we get the second last the last and uh, third last and supposedly so on and so forth elements if you have that many digits okay this is a very general um, sense to use to play with so we have the placement index the array holder percent 10 so suppose the suppose a value of the element is about suppose 36 so now uh, array holder will be equal to 36 because two sort array of i is 36 okay okay so suppose the array holder will have 36 then um, the placement counter is set to 1 initially for the first loop and length is equal to 2 right now um, then the J will be equal to the placement counter which is 2 uh, sorry 1 uh, yeah sorry let me rephrase the whole uh, thing uh, okay so length was equal to 2 okay and the placement counter is equal to 1 um, I'm sorry I think this should be placed outside I messed up I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry uh, I got a bit carried away over there you know forgive my lack of senses it happens sometimes anyway this is outside and uh, yeah that uh, it, it will work perfect now yeah I just got messed up o over there so the placement counter is equal to one I think I should you know like continue this in the next tutorial but I just uh, give you one more example just one example and that'll be done okay so suppose we have a length equal to you know a two because we have a two digit number now so we have 36 okay so 36 is a two digit number so we have length equal to two uh, this is a placement index is zero the array count placement counter is one the array holder is nothing basically the array holder is gets initiated over here suppose we are at a random number i and and the array holder gets a value of 36 okay so the placement counter will be equal to one initially because this is the first loop and so j will be equal to one and this is will only run once so we get a placement index will be e which will be equal to 36 percentage 10 so what is 36 percentage 10 it's six why is it six you can calculate on your piece of paper and find out that it's six this will be the remainder uh, suppose it, this is equal to the 
it's it's like array holder um, divided by ten. Whatever answer you get, this answer, right? Suppose you get answer of about three over here. So this is the ba this is basically the, <coughs> the the last element, okay, of the array. So then after that, array holder will be you know given a value which is 36 36 by 10 will be equal to 3 obviously so I will will be given a value of 3 and now this will hold the value of 6 but now we'll go back and now the placement um, counter j is equal to 0 because j minus minus okay so that is done now so so this is the first one but the next in, in the next thing we have placement counter plus plus so now the placement counter will be equal to 2 so if you have 36 again you will have 6 ones and the next loop you will have over here 3 so this will be equal to 3 you get what I'm saying right if you don't get this just put it on a piece of paper and you'll understand it I swear I might not be the best person to explain this because it's too complicated for you know for to just speak in one position and you know whatever so um, I'll catch you later this is getting too long um, and uh, yeah like subscribe share and uh, you know help other people out with this tutorial because I like doing that thanks for watching